In this video, I'm going to introduce the topic of slope fields, which is part of the IB Math AI HL course, and this is inside of Topic 5 Calculus, and this is part of the Differential Equations chapter. Okay, so I've given you here a differential equation, dy dx is equal to x minus y plus 1. Now in previous videos, we've attempted to solve a differential equation, and if we try and solve for y that satisfies this equation, well that'll help us uh, maybe, maybe visualize the curve, and we could sketch the curve, we might be able to find a particular solution, or maybe general solutions, where, where we have a family of solutions. But in this video, and in this example here, it might be a little bit difficult to try and solve uh, this differential equation. But what we can do is we can visualize what solutions might look like using a slope field. And let me use this example and hopefully it makes a little bit more sense as we work our way through it. So what I'm going to say is, well, I know that dy dx is equal to x minus y plus 1. If I just sketch here a coordinate plane, and I'm going to substitute in some coordinates, some x and y points, and what I'm going to do is use this little table here, and let's find what dy dx will equal if we give x and y some values. Okay, let's start. Let's say, well, when x equals 1 and y equals 1, that's going to be here on our plane. I'll put a little dot here for now. What will dy dx equal? Okay, let's just substitute in x and y into our differential equation. We will get 1 minus 1, which is 0, plus 1. So we get dy dx equaling 1. Now what this helps us, and this is the key point here, what this helps us understand is that, well, I have potentially lots of different solution curves to my differential equation here, but what I do know is when one of my solutions passes through this point, when x equals 1 and y equals 1, I know that the slope will be equal to 1, because that's what dy dx equaled. And on a slope field, how we can represent that is at this point, I'm going to draw a little straight line that represents a slope, and it's going to be a little line segment here, and it's going to be a slope of 1. So picture this to have a gradient of 1. Okay, so we've plotted our first little line segment that represents the slope of the solution curve uh, of our differential equation at that exact point. Okay, let's try and find some more slopes. This is not too bad. Let's substitute in another x and y, uh, x and y values here. Let's try this one right here. This is when x equals 0 and y equals 1. So when x equals 0, y equals 1. What does dy dx equal? Well, let's substitute this in. 0 minus 1 plus 1, well, that's equal to 0. And what that tells us is that if our solution curve passes through 0, 1, this point right here, the slope of our curve will be 0. The slope, our first derivative here, will be 0. So I'm going to put a slope of 0. Okay, let's try another point. Let's try this point right here. When x equals negative 1, and y equals positive 1. So when x equals negative 1, y equals positive 1, okay, well, what will my dy dx equal? I'll get negative 1 minus 1, which will be negative 2, plus 1, which is negative 1. So let's put negative 1 here, and that means at this point we will have a slope of negative 1. Now, I can do this for all of our points here. So let me just, I'll just put some dots. We can find a slope there, 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 there. Let's, let's, let's try and put a little dot here, and on all of these dots, I can put, I can work out the slope. There's actually quite a lot to do here, so I might pause the video in a second and, and do these for you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, and whilst I pause it, I'm actually going to find the slope at each of these dots just by simply substituting in the x value and the y value into our differential equation. And then what I'll have is a grid of slopes, which is my slope field. So I'll do that now. Okay, so I've gone ahead and plotted all of my slopes here, and I'll just use one as an example. Let's, uh, let's choose maybe this one right here, because we didn't do this in our table. Well, at this point, x equals 1 and y equals 2. And if I substituted x equals 1, 
1 minus 2 plus 1, that is in fact 0, which is why I drew a 0 slope right here. So once you have a grid here of all of our little short line segments, this is now considered our slope field. And what these help us do is they visualize, uh, they help us visualize the tangents to all of our solution curves. So I can draw maybe some solu possible solution curves here just by following the slopes. Now the first one is actually this, this straight line right here. If this looks like it is going to be one of our solution curves. This actually looks like the diagonal line, y equals x, and we can verify, is that actually a solution to our differential equation? If y equaled x, on the right-hand side here, we would have x minus x, which is zero, plus one. So we would have one on the right-hand side, and what is the derivative of x with respect to x? That does equal one. So we can see that one equaling one satisfies this equation. So y equaling x is in fact one of our solution curves. But there's going to be some more complicated solution curves here. Let me just draw one more in a different color. Uh, let's say that we wanted to find the solution curve that passed through a particular point, maybe this point right here. We would need to try and draw the line uh, that is going to be following our, our slopes here. It's going to look something like this and I think it will trail off. And if we draw more slopes, uh, we, can, we can actually visualize that our line here will actually be tangent to all of these slopes here. Okay, so this is just a bit of an introduction to slope fields. In your exam questions, uh, you, you, often, uh, you won't be asked uh, very often to actually draw a slope field. They might give you a more complex slope field where it's a lot more clear the direction of all of these slopes. And you'll get asked to potentially sketch a possible solution that will go It'll, go, it'll be tangential to all of these little slope lines and they might ask you to analyze what will happen to a possible solution curve as x increases. But the goal of this video was to introduce a slope field. What it is, is it helps us visualize what solution curves to differential equations look like by simply substituting in x and y values. We can therefore find dy dx, and we should know by now that dy dx, that's the derivative, which, is, which helps us visualize the gradient and the slope of some curve y. Okay, so that is going to be the basic summary of this topic.